broke to joke, that's the life we chose From the barrio to the barrel, yeah, everybody knows We may be broke, but we're laughing through the pain Turning every struggle into podcast and fame Too broke to joke, that's the life we chose From the barrio to the barrel, yeah, everybody knows We may be broke, but we're laughing through the pain Turning every struggle into podcast and fame I'm Omar Diaz. I am Manny Colon. Still. Still. And still. Bourbon. True. true. That's not going to (laughs) change. That'll never change. But uh, we want to talk about uh, episode one. All right. Yeah, there's some corrections we need to put up for episode one. Why was that? Why is that? Because I lied. Shame. Shame. Shame, shame, shame. Shame Shame on you. Omar is a liar. (laughs) And and I we wanted to get ahead get ahead of cancel culture <laughs> with all nine ah, ah, ah. subscribers. Yeah, because you know we have all these subscribers now that we're you know we have to we have to you know just do the right thing for them. <laughs> that's all. That's but uh, Omar's about. a liar. That's that's. <laughs> The lies and the deception that went on in episode one, and and he's willing to accept his uh his role in it and, his, and, and take responsibility and accountability, and I think he's a bigger man for it, and he's here to apologize sincerely right. to everyone for right. lying right. and deceiving. <laughs> Man, he had nothing to do with it. None of this was his fault. No, it? I just, I just, I'm, I'm, I just nodded my head yes because I was in shock as he was talking. <laughs> I was in shock, and luckily, as as a child, I trained myself to continue talking as if everything's normal <laughs> while I'm shocked. That's inside. a completely different episode. Okay, <laughs> but I can do that. That's the thing. Oh my God! So, so Omar, apologize. Oh yeah, I'm very sorry. It's my sincerest apologies. What are you for, sorry for? For letting people think that we knew each other for 32 years. Wow, you're just gonna jump over the fact that you didn't know. That. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> well, we can talk about that too. What the, the very thirty-five seconds in when you said on the podcast, what was it you said? And uh, who knew that this was going to happen today? Yeah, that's what you said, <laughs> and that's the proof right there. <laughs> we all knew. Uh, yeah, we all knew. <laughs> oh my god! So man. I don't know why you told them. No one knew. Who knew? Who knew? Who knew? Oh my god! Who knew we were going to be here today? <laughs> October. He read the date, the times, everything. I'm looking at him like. <gasps> <laughs> you called me and told me we were going to be there. <laughs> he was in complete shock on the other side of the table. But anyway, go ahead. <laughs> I apologize. We we didn't know what that... When did oh, we meet? We met in 1993. It was 93. It wasn't 91. It was and, 90. and again, I I go along with what he says because I'm I'm just happy that someone has some sort of a memory because I I forget a lot oh, from that, that, that era. Very overrated. <laughs> that era was crazy. <laughs> So yes, yeah, so I guess that was it. Oh, um, that's it. That's all you lied about. Um, no, I know there was one other thing, a couple of other things, but yeah. I, the most important one was the one. Uh, one of my elementary school friends, he goes by the handle of War Game Peace on pretty much everything. Okay, and uh, he's really cool. I've known him forever. I've known him since like 1983 or 82. You sure? Do we have to fact check you? No. Again? Should I just no. take your word for confirm. it now after everything that we've gone through? <laughs> he can episode? confirm. Go he ahead. can confirm. He can confirm. Mrs. Crow, third grade. But you were in the other class because they used to have tandem classes. It was like 2A and 2B. Yeah, yeah. And I was in yeah, 2A, yeah, yeah. War Game Peace. I was in 2B. Me and Octavia were in 2A and a bunch of other friends that I still keep in touch with Octavio. today. Octavio and all his eight sides. <laughs> the verbal sniper. You guys will get to meet him soon. But anyway, um, War Game Peace. Uh, he said, hey, love the podcast. Love the editing. And mind you, that's a big deal to me because he's a big Twitch streamer. Right. And he and he so he'll do video games like live gaming and then he does like these miniature paintings. I mean he paints in like these tiny That's little amazing. like That's with type with like I know one hair saying. brushes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's real crazy. One hair brush. <laughs> I'm saying I know I'm exaggerating, but I'm just my, I'm trying to get my point across. And uh now he, he does he does it doing telepathy. <laughs> like he just <laughs> stares at it. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, shit. That, that sounds dope because I've seen people who draw 
or or paint a whole scenery on a grain of rice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's freaking amazing. Yeah, it's you ridiculous. see them like sitting yeah. there with magnifying glass. They should be surgeons. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So yeah, so he uh, and now he also does like unboxing like you know, different action figures and stuff. It's cool. It's very interesting to watch. I'm subscribed to it. You guys should check him out. War right, I'm Game a, I'm a Peace. Too. War Game Peace. So he says, uh, he, he texts me and he's like, I loved it. He's like, you know, yes, we're talking about love languages. He's he's very PC. He's like, interesting fact. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Interesting fact. It's not, they're not called love languages. They're called romance languages because they're div- they're derived from Latin there we go. Rome. See, we're being yeah. educated. Yeah. I love it. Completely educated. <laughs> Ask him what two plus two is. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be able to tell you. <laughs> so, yeah, so I guess that was it. That I, that stands out to me, right? So, you, that's what you're apologizing. For. Yeah, that's it. I'm done. Because I think my. my uh, Will you ever do it again, or? God, you can ask my attorney that. Your Honor, I object. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, so. That was it. Now that we cleared the air, and I guess he's off the hook. We don't have to cancel Omar. <laughs> uh, cancel myself. Talk to us about what was it your wife came up with? Some a topic for the podcast. Which, yeah. by the way, hold on before we even go there. I, we want to ask everyone if you have a topic that you think we should cover, or you think would be humorous, or you think we should cover here on the podcast. Just leave a comment, message us. Our inbox, email, we have, we inbox, have email. email, everything is on this, too broke to joke. Yep, yep. Uh, the number two broke, the number two joke at gmail.com. Yep, to... and hit us up with the ideas and we'll, we'll you know, we'll flip through them and we'll give you a shout out. We'll actually let you know if we are going to do this topic, we'll send you an email and tell you, hey, we chose your, yeah. your thing and we're going to do that. Yeah. So keep an ear out for it. and you know. Absolutely, yeah. If there's something that you want to hear about, we'll consider a lot of stuff. I mean, don't get me wrong. I want to keep it as real as possible with everyone, but this it's just some subjects that I just feel like toxic. We would have to we would have to do that like once a year where we pick an an episode where we hit a serious topic, but really serious that can cause some sort of controversy or well, something that's already causing a controversy. We're just talking about it. I'm trying to, I'm trying to blow up the channel here. I'm not trying to get canceled with nine subscribers. (laughs) That's why I had Omar apologize because we lost one subscriber. (laughs) He offended me. I unsubscribed. (laughs) (laughs) Oh man. So, my wife yeah yeah, yeah okay. right so so a lot of stuff that uh, she's really good at she's really good at making music playlists she's very good at recommending movies because she's not a sci-fi or she likes real stuff like true crime and those stuff based on real stuff right and i i'm not I, very sci-fi either. right you're not i am you know so it's nice to see so a lot of shows i watch and i'm into because of her like all these uh, reality shows, like Big Brother and Survivor and Amaz- Amazing Race. Wait, what about I, you? I'd love to be on that show. What's that show? That, that Naked and Naked and Afraid. And Afraid. We watched it. It's, there's a better one called Alone, and they they basically go out, you know, like in the Alaska wilderness, and they have to survive. Right. How long the last person that taps out wins is pretty sick. So she oh she, so she comes up so she always comes up with good suggestions and she hit she hit us with ones with right we were together yeah, yeah, she yeah. hit us with one and said why don't you guys talk about um uh, controversial subjects or unpopular opinions unpopular yeah opinions. Yes, unpopular that's opinions right mm-hmm. so and so we said so what's that she's like you know there's a lot of things going on and people there's stuff that people talk about so we pulled up a list. And we me go through a couple of them and see how we feel about them. All right, this is this is this is not our list. This is something we looked up, but it says the very best one hundred and twenty unpopular opinions. But we can give them props, right? By po- yeah, I was yeah. just about to. Cool. By what? How do you pronounce that? Ponly. Ponly. P o n l y. Period. Yeah, period. Yeah, P O. Yeah, yeah. they, they really made that a really thick period. P O. Yeah, P O N. Period. Period. So this is the very best 
According to them, according right. to Ponley, the very best 120 unpopular opinions. What if it's Ponley? It, should that be one of the subjects? Should that be 121? <laughs> <laughs> nah, go ahead. Yeah, Ponley, Ponley. All right, here we go. So, uh, number one here is veg. Oh, wait, we're not going to go through all 120. We're not? No. Okay, okay. <laughs> here we go. We can skip this because like, vegetables are better than fruit. When was the last time you had a vegetable? No, yeah, you're right. You're right. That's bullshit. <laughs> I call bullshit on that one. All right. Money can buy happiness. Yes. Well, <sighs> you know who? <laughs> you you, you know would be who, boxing? Who, who, who would it be? Come on, bro. Yes, it buy. It doesn't buy you happiness, but it buys you the the leisure, I guess, or the or the relief of stress. Of stress. Yeah. So yeah. But of some type of stress, because then other type of stress comes, right? No, that's people who want to live life lavish. I'm at an age where you give me that kind of money, I'm gonna be so low key. And you don't think the you're not your gonna family see me. people coming out of the woodworks following you around, yo. They're not gonna find me. They're not gonna find me. There's gonna be a there's a selective few in my family that come with me, and I'm starting my own little cologne gated community with a supermarket inside that runs itself and pays for the property. We all go shopping there. I'm telling you, I got it planned out. I'm gonna wait to work, but it's it's only a selective few that are coming. With me. Wow! And I'm a, I'm gonna buy the houses, give them the houses, but they have to maintain them. Without, no but uh, yeah, so um. We're here on this list, so we're talking about what was the last money one? can money buy can buy happiness. What do you guys think? Comment. I believe so. I I, I say and not in this, not you know, in the literal sense. Literally, literally, literally. It's like you can't happy. buy happiness. Like, right here, here's some money, make me happy type shit. But you get your bills paid. Everything's yeah. paid. You have no worries. You're uh, now you all your time is spent on being happy. It should be. I'm unless, doing. I'm doing stuff that you want to do instead of doing stuff that unless, you have to. Unless you have a drug habit or something like that, and you know, screw your life up, right? But I don't have none of those. You know, I mean, I might fuck a little treats here and there, but I, it's not enough that it's gonna kill me, right? I can, I'll probably smoke less because I'll be busier doing stuff, right? <laughs> I totally imagine you ziplining. I, I would love to zipline. Yeah, I want to. I want to. I want to jump out of a plane. Sasha's done that with a parachute. Sasha's done that. And I've ziplined with Gabby in Colombia. Really? My yeah. my son's godfather, Bienbo, he he did that. He, he in Las Vegas. One of the scariest things I've ever done. Yeah, the yeah. zipline. The zipline, really? Yeah. Remember, yeah. you're weak, bro. I am. But I admit it. So does that no, make me super weak? No, no. no. Like if I get into a fight, you're, I'm you're, not gonna win. You, get, you, you gain a little strength by right, winning. Right, right, right. Still weak. Well, like in a fight, <laughs> and I've always told a shout out to uh, my boy John Drummond. I we always joked around. I said, dude, I said if I get into a fight, I'm not winning. Okay, <laughs> I'm not winning. But I promise you, you're gonna remember we fought. You're going to miss an ear, your nose. Oh, you know, no, no, no. no. Listen, yeah. in a fight, no I don't care what barred. people say, oh, he bit me. What? Uh, yeah. Bro, everything everything goes in a yeah. fight. If I can stick my thumb <laughs> in your eyeball. Oh, I'm okay. Like, no, bro. <laughs> I, I, thought, I didn't know you were going into eyeball. Listen, I'm in a position where I'm threatened, like, you might hurt me. I'm going to hurt you first, and whatever it takes, bro, if I... I don't care, bro. I'll, I'll bite. I'll pull hair. If you got, if you're one of them dudes that love your hair with your long oh, yeah, hair, yeah, you're right. stop. You know how when girls fight, the first thing you yeah, do yeah. is grab their hair, pull back, and start wailing. Yeah, I'm, I'll do that. I, I do whatever it takes. All right, good. That makes me feel good. You're gonna remember whatever that we it fall. Takes. No yeah, yeah I'll be mannequin on the floor, but you're bleeding. Yeah, yeah, you're in pain. But anyway, uh, money can buy happiness. Manny seems to think so. I think that it can buy you less stress, but it comes with other stress. I mean, Notorious B.I.G. said it himself so succinctly, right? No money, no problems. Yep. Well, that's probably true. Beyonce right. is an overrated performer. Yeah, so uh, this is a tough subject um, to touch. Um, okay, go ahead. I don't want to touch it. You don't want to touch it? I think, look. Why? Okay. You think Jay-Z is going to make phone calls and get us <laughs> out of YouTube? Yeah, you can get a free stop. <laughs> He's gonna threaten all nine subscribers. He's yeah, gonna call yeah, him yeah. individually. He's gonna call him individually. <laughs> like, he's gonna t- 
to like hit them with a verse that he didn't write. <laughs> but no, I think I enjoy watching Beyonce. I love Beyonce. Don't get me wrong. She's amazing, bro. She like I said, I think yeah. we didn't we talk about it at some point about arenas, selling arenas. Yeah, yeah. She's one yeah, of the one yeah. of the people I named. Yeah. She sells arenas. I yeah. mean, she's a ama- she's an amazing performer. Yeah, she's ridiculous. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I feel like there's other as far as other what, artists as, that are that are doing that, that are doing performing yeah. like that. And she's not doing anything out of the ordinary except that her music's dope. Yeah. But there's a lot of people with dope music and, and, and stuff I want to listen to. So I wouldn't say overrated, it's just that you know, you, you, I don't know. I don't know how to say. It. I don't want to say it without offending anybody. But right. she ain't listening to us, man. <laughs> well, I mean, look. There's a reason why it's on that list, and number three doesn't say Lady Gaga is an overrated performer. She's insane. Dude. Yeah, she's not afraid to step out the box. Yeah, she she like leaves the box like yeah. all the way over there. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah. crazy. She's oh, cool. Oh, look at this. Number four. Taylor Swift is one of the most underrated singers and songwriters in this generation. I don't know about that. I'm not. I don't go around listening to Taylor Swift. Uh, You're I'm not a Swifty. I'm definitely you... not a Swifty. <laughs> definitely not Manny the Swifty. Yeah, yeah but, but I don't have nothing bad to say because her her music is selling, her shows are selling, and then I heard what she did for her employees recently for uh-huh. her last tour. The truck drivers or some, she paid them all an extra hundred thousand dollars because she made mad money. So she figured, let me give back. Do they have to pay taxes on that? I who cares, bro? <laughs> I'm I'll kidding. pay it. I'm, I'm paying kidding. shit. I'm you know, I'm one of those people. Like, if I want a car, I would sell it right away. Yeah, you take the cash. Yeah, I yeah. Would, I've always I thought that. It. I would sell. I always thought that. Right I have friends that have won cars. Yeah. And and yeah, and sold them back. Yeah, yeah just sold. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that that's I, I I that's one of them. That and songwriter, she writes all her songs. Yeah, she's and, insane. And she's going quadruple platinum. I guess she's. I don't know how how much she's selling. I don't know. Nowadays. She's so good that she's improving revenue for completely different industries that are not music. Right. The right, NFL. Right. 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 I mean, the NFL right. is racking mad money watching her during these Kelsey. Oh games. god, but that gets nauseating. Yeah, right, it, it, it's football. It's not Swifty freaking. Well, Sasha was saying that she watches it, and it's almost like it's their way to teach the younger generation that's not really into sports about football, right? Because they they have them as a captive audience. Right, right, right. Yeah, right. but yeah, I, I definitely, I don't, I'm not, I'm not a big, I, I can't say because I don't sit there and listen to Taylor Swift songs, but I know she's dope. And, and I know she writes all her songs. And to me, whenever you write your own stuff, man, that's props to you. You're an artist, man. You're you're on another level when you write your own material. So I can't. I don't agree with that. With, with that one. What about you? You disagree? No, I. She, I think she's incredibly talented. And uh, the people that know me, um, I I love watching, especially when I used to teach Zumba. I mean, pop music was kind of an everyday thing. I had to listen to it so I can pick songs that people want to dance to right, right. and one of my favorite performances of taylor swift was it was an mtv awards and i'll get you to watch it it was um the song mean you're not gonna make me watch nothing <laughs> yeah <laughs> next one number five football is more of america's sport than baseball is well i was just looking up when baseball was invented look up britannica bro <laughs> You can learn how to read that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yo, did you ever buy Your parents ever buy one? Yeah. A course. home encyclopedia? Of course. It was like a paper internet. Yeah. But it was only valid till the moment that it we was had printed, books. right? We had books and books yeah. that nobody ever used. White? Were they white with no, blue, blue lettering? They were blue. Blue with blue gold? With gold lettering. Yeah, I've seen them. Blue gold lettering. But uh, football is more of America's sport than baseball is. Is crap. I think. I love football. I mean, I don't love football. I'm not a huge football fan, but I'm a huge Yankee fan. And I think baseball is just, that represents the spirit of America more than football. Because does. because it's more of like a battle. The history, the history alone. Well, the way it, well. Football wasn't that big when baseball was huge back in the, you know, when the Yankees were killing it or whatever. Nobody really well, watched football. Well, all I looked at, but if you wanted to. Or you never hear the story. Matter of fact. Yeah, I, I, what, what but year? To, I don't know what right. year. So my point is to fact check. If you want to go by facts, right? Baseball was invented first. It was invented in eighteen thirty nine. Really? And football was November 6, eighteen sixty nine. So thirty years. 
baseball's been around for thirty years so, before yeah. football. So that may, yeah, that no, that's more American than anything. I think the 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 popular, more popular uh, opinion now is that it is that football is, but it is and it is. So you know, so you, I'm not a sports person, okay, right. but because my kid is in the band and she's a drum major. I go to every game. I've been going to every game since right. for three years. Right. And I've learned to really enjoy the game. And I understand it. And the more I see it, it's, I see how it's set up as almost a pseudo army against an army. They even bring in, like back in the Civil War, they used to have the drum players to keep beat of the marches. That's where bands came from. Yeah. So when they play first, that's them. We're coming into battle. Right, 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 right. So I see it as like almost like a reenactment of a Civil War battle every time I watch it. Those are the first to die. They're right in the front. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, okay, drum line first. <laughs> Why, why is it gotta be us? Yeah. Oh man. All right. So keep uh, as we go on. What do we? Number six. You can have kids before you get married. Oh, come that's, on. Yeah, that's we're so, we're yeah. Latinos. Number seven. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, the trick is how many. Yeah. Right. Number seven. I'd rather drive in silence than oh than with music playing. I can answer this. Can I answer this first? That's weird. It's not weird. So let me tell you why it's not weird for me. For 10 years, when I was listening to music every day and dancing, right? It, when I got in the car, I, I was done listening to fucking music. I oh, when really you were DJing, that. you told me? DJing or, or, or teaching Zumba, any of that stuff. I'm like, when I got in my car, I'm like, fuck, okay, I'm done. Yeah. So then I started driving in silence. And that's 10 years ago is when I started listening to podcasts like youtube videos and listening basically right, right, to the right. news in the car and kind of being okay i can listen to music i know what's popping because i have to listen to it Good. but when i'm in the car i want to do what i want to do not what i have to do and right, that's right. how i got into that so so i i personally love silence in the car or i'll listen to uh, a podcast or something like that i'm not wrong with being a weirdo oh thanks i appreciate that <laughs> i appreciate that i want to read uh number eight uh, uh, read this word the fast way. Get park. ready, park. park. Yes, park. Sound it out. <laughs> hot dogs are better than ready. Ham- oh, wait, wait. Hot dogs are better than hamburgers and cheeseburgers. Dog, nope. No, cheeseburgers no way, are the best. Cheese I got a question for you with bacon. Okay, pickles, no pickles. Pickles. Yeah. Pickles. Pickles. Right. I eat my kids when they make yeah. sense. I eat their pickles. Well, Sasha, when she orders McDonald's. Yeah. She takes them out. She likes the number two and she orders them without pickles. But I'm saying, but you know I like pickles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you going to? Because she, she, because she doesn't like, like that, the remnant taste. Thick. You know what's weird? I don't like. You like the floppy one. I like sliced pickles yeah. like sliced thin yeah in like, the hamburger but like so my like jazzy my wife she'll grab a whole pickle put it in the fucking hamburger without slicing it no no i'm saying she'll just eat a pickle oh what the like fuck? that like, like, <laughs> like just eat it like it's celery or some shit but a, like a, <laughs> a pickle out of the jar yes oh. like she'll eat that like like nothing i can't it's got to be sliced that's the only way yeah I it. it's got to be maybe it depends i don't know but no way. Hot dogs. Hell no. Uh, guys, Cheeseburgers. Everything that we're asking here or the opinions that we're telling you guys, comment. Comment. What do you think? I, I, I think that's bull, bro. I think I'll fight anybody who says hot dogs. <laughs> Cheeseburgers. <laughs> Onion rings are better than french fries. Depends Sometimes. on. Depends. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It depends. The it battered, depends. the real battered fried ones. Yeah, Not the yeah. flaky shit that you get in right, the bags. Right, right, right. Like right the shit you get right. at the deli. Too, those, those, those are okay yeah. when there's nothing else. Right, right, right. Yeah. I had some the other day. They're Did amazing. you? Yeah. yeah. But uh, you know what I mean? The the, the smooth ones that are deep yeah, fried yeah, yeah, and crunchy. Yeah, yeah. Right? But uh, what? Better than French fries? It depends, man. It depends on the fries. What French fries are you talking about? Like, I'm a big uh, Five Guys fries. I like them. The big ones. The potatoes. They're just like. It tastes like yeah. It has the skin still skin on it, right? Yeah, yeah. I like. I that. like that. I like Popeyes fries. I like Popeyes fries. Yeah. I like Popeyes fries. Uh, no McDonald's fries. You don't like McDonald's? McDonald's. Fries? I used to love McDonald's, but I don't know. Ever As you get older, I, ever since I watched that video, with like the... those things don't decompose. Yeah. 
They showed like what was it? How many years was the fries, uh, McDonald's fries sitting around there? They well, looked I don't know. the same. They don't looked ask the me same. That. I don't want to be a liar again. That's crazy. Look it up. Yeah, because you're already a weirdo <laughs> on this one. Man. You're a liar. Beer tastes better at room temperature. Look, can I answer that first? That's disgusting. It so first of all, I never liked the beer. The f- I'm not a big beer guy, but if I drink, it's got to be cold. It's got to be cold, freezing. Cold. But my so the beer that I actually liked, the first beer I actually enjoyed in the sun, it was cold. I'm like, oh fuck, I get it. Like I had that moment of clarity, you know. It was uh, this year. In Nashville at the ICC Con convention with Octavio. We went outside. It was kind of hot. He said, oh, let's have a beer. So they had Yingling was the beer that they had. So I had a Yingling. Yingling? Yeah, it's like a Pennsylvania. I never heard of it. Dude, that. it is so, it's delicious. It's the, it's not like aggressive and not, it's. I like it, Medalla. Uh, I've never had it. I love Medalla. Right? I have a friend of mine that likes and Modelo. And it's got to be cold. Modelo. Or oh, Modelo. Modelo's even better, bro. Modelo's like, to me, Modelo and Corona are almost like related. <laughs> I'm not a big Corona fan. I like Corona. I like Corona. I like Yingling way better. I like Heineken. Okay. Yeah, anything with a lime, you put a lime in that, we good. We All good. right, great. Yeah. But it's got to be cold. Not, right. not that uh, warm beer crap. That's stupid. Concerts are a waste of money. Just watch music videos. That's, nah, that's stupid. Right, well... We have discussed how much you like concerts, yeah, yeah, but but a lot of people that even go to concerts today don't experience the fucking concert. They're watching the concert that's playing in front of them in their eyes through their phone. Through their phone. Yeah. Yeah. Is that because we're all, it. That's to remember. Are they that's ever going to gonna play back? That's to remember. No, but you would do it. I've done it. I, I went to go see Mark Anthony. I got Mark Anthony videos of a lot of concerts we went to. I, I have to take videos because, yeah, I want to show people like, yo, look what he did. But and I, I, like he, there was a, there was a, there was. A, oh, I didn't get that on video, but uh, he, he, he did it himself. He made it public, so I can make it public. He was talking about uh, La India, the salsa yeah. singer. But they she was a, a freestyle. They had a song, song together. Yeah, back. Yeah. Then, yeah, but they had a, they had songs together or a song together. I, I could remember. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah. So I guess he asked her to be on a show. I'm, you know, that's I'm assuming. And she, he said something about that she was drunk, mm-hmm. and he called her a drug borracha, and he just went off. Bro. He went in uh, on it. Was he, he drunk? Did. No, he was on stage doing his thing. It was oh. a beautiful show. The show was amazing. He was just making it clear, like I don't know what happened. I'm assuming she was probably drunk because he, she was supposed to do a show, and she yeah fucked him over. But I heard she had the yeah. That's what he said. So I don't know. I don't know what her situation is. But yeah, no, concerts are amazing. There's so many things that happen at concerts that you don't see in a music video. Yeah. Live mistakes that can happen or they can bring special guests or stuff like that. Yeah. That they let out. They blurt out stuff yeah. in private. It's not really private. Right. It's an arena, right. bro. Right. You can't. You know what I mean? Right. Once it comes out your mouth, it ain't private. Yeah. It's over. All right. Number 12. Friends isn't a good TV show. I think Friends is okay. I don't mind it. I like it. So I liked it a lot more before I knew they were in New York. You never knew they no. were in New York? I, I, I had already watched. I was, the place was called Central Perk. Perk. I get it. I get it. But I thought it was like. And every day they show the bill. They show the bill. No, I, I understand that. And the street. And oh, the God. <laughs> Jesus. No, but my point is that and I thought that Central Perk was like a cutesy name. Of like a cafe in another city that, you know, like I didn't realize it was New York. One time I'm like, but these guys aren't really New Yorkers. No, they're not. But that's but they're it. funny. But that's I enjoyed it more when I didn't think but they were New again, Yorkers. But that, that's they they can represent New Yorkers. Yes, not the New Yorkers we are. Right. But you don't know where like downtown where, Manhattan who live the people who live down in the village. Right. So that's Joey, where more or less that right. takes place. Joey was there, Manny. Hey. How you doing? Yeah, that was the wildest right, right. thing. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. His whole family was crazy. Right, right, so right, was right, right, right. Joey was there. You know, but uh yeah, show. but the, I liked it. I enjoyed the show. Friends is cool. Ooh. Oh, this is uh, great. This is great because Manny owns one and I own the other. All right, so this is number 13. Android. 
Androids are better than iPhones. Okay, so can I, being that I know yes. I have the, I know you have the superior phone. I Not do. even, I have an old Samsung no. Galaxy. It's still better than this. Yes. Okay, so I have a 12, and I know it's 2023, and I'm a, Verizon says I'm, I'm due for an upgrade. But you probably been do. You, yeah, you're in a twelve. I just finished paying for this, and as the podcast is called <laughs> "Too Broke to Joke," I'm trying to be smarter. And you can only do that with an iPhone. No, I'm. It's about the decisions that I'm making. Like, like even if I was broke, I'd be like, "Fuck it, I'll go get the 15 and I'll oh, pay the extra." Oh, you're talking about having the latest model. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were still talking about the No, comparison. no, I don't have the latest model because no, of No, I don't have the latest model because I'm broke. Right. This is too broke to joke. I mean, right. <laughs> right. We wouldn't be, uh, guys, you know, come on. <laughs> right. So I don't want to upgrade. Yeah, you're What's trying to explain it. it. We it's, already too broke to joke. Right. That's it. So like three generations ago, it does, does the new one like ring, I pick it up. And there's other people on the other line. Does the 15 do no, that? No, no. But the new one is like if somebody disturbs you, like when you don't want to be disturbed, you press a button and a hand comes out on their end and slaps them in the face. Is that the only thing the hand is programmed to do? No, you can program it to do many things. <laughs> That's why the 15 is so much. No, it, Android is way better. And it from is, what I understand, is. from what I heard, they use Samsung bought parts inside there. Where'd you hear this? That's what I heard. I heard that. I don't from know if it's, if it's from the chips Many or Many people the are saying. Just rabbit holes I go into. Just I don't remember, bro. But it, I heard that. I heard that there's parts in there. I don't know if it's the chip or the, I don't know, the, the processor or what the hell. But they use parts yeah. from in there. It, even if it's the glass. The camera alone. How dare you say you better you use our, our, <laughs> our, our material. The, the camera alone. No, the camera alone. The camera, the camera alone, alone is, is crazy. Insane. I mean, don't get me wrong. Apple has a nice camera. They do. They have a nice camera. They're but only really close for close-ups. Right, right. But There's but, no zoom but, capability. But when it comes to, to Samsung, they're on another level. Bro. Yeah, they're it's on insane. Level with the camera. They understood the assignment from the beginning. They was like, oh, people just care about the camera. Let's put all our money into the camera. And everything else is just a freaking phone with memory. Yeah. That's all it is. It's a casing with some functionality to get you on the internet yeah. and some storage. Yeah. Yeah, true story. That's true it. Story. The processor gets better. They they always do the camera and the processor. The camera is just amazing. It's amazing. Okay. Uh, but, but just as amazing about the iPhone is that I understand that there are ridiculous hackers that can get into the phone, but it's almost impossible. Like, you have to be like a freak of nature. Yeah. No, it's to true, jailbreak yeah. this thing, you know it's what I'm saying? But, but you know, you, you're also you're also talking about like, who are you to worry about that? Like, who wants to break into your phone? Big people, you have to worry, they have to worry about that. But nobody wants to mess with our phone. There's not somebody going around breaking into people's phones just for the hell of it. You got an easier way to do it through through apps and stuff that yeah. you download. Yeah, no, I see your point. So yeah, so it's it's not a big deal. That, that whole this, I love the fact that this is an open source phone. You know what you could do with these phones? I know, I know. I have one. You could, you I could have put my mods sister. In it. You could put mods in it and, and do that. My boy, my boy, uh, saw one that he said that he turned it on and the Android was a whole different Android. Like yeah, yeah, yeah designed differently. Stuff. Dude, I have my sister's old. Samsung with the like you can see the screen on the side out of the S Galaxy S7. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? That's that, old. that had the edge. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, yeah. I mean, and it's slow. Like it's it's Is it slow? Super slow. Like you touch it and it's like but but I use it for the camera. Yeah, the camera's the amazing. camera's ridiculous on that thing, and that's portrait the seven. Mode. You got portrait video, you got it. and the zoom. You seen the video Yo. that I've done with the zoom? Yeah, well, I mean I caught up from the roof of a plane on the west side. Up from the the roof of a building on the west side, I caught a plane, a seaplane, landing in the water on the east side. Jesus. Perfect. And then you zoom out and you see how far I was. Some people have said that you might have recorded a UFO. Yeah, I did. I did record it. No bullshit? Yeah, that's a whole other episode. Right, but yeah. no bullshit. No, bro, you see it. It's the, it's the TikTok, bro. That's, that's what's I your, think what's that's your the TikTok real channel? deal. What's your TikTok channel? Uh, I don't have it on TikTok. Oh, you, you, but it's private. 
It's oh, private. I never have yeah, it. I, I'm, the first time I'm going to put it, I'll put it here. I'll put it here. Okay. Yeah, I'll put it here for, for the And the we, can rea- we can we'll react it, to we'll, it. We'll react to it. Because yeah. it's, it's an amazing video. Man. I, I think I caught something because we've seen other videos with the same object and it's unexplained. And yeah, I, I give respect to, to the people who, who who can keep a steady hand. But I, I understand now. But I'm not gonna talk. We'll talk about it. We'll, we'll do a whole. Episode. Yeah, yeah, no worries, no worries. Sure. So yeah, okay. So yeah, so I I agree. Androids with you. are better than iPhones. I agree. Yeah, I agree. yeah. I even said to Sasha, I'm we're like, gonna I, get I'm... people hating on the on the on the because my my nephews, my nieces, all of them have iPhones. My son has an Android, like me. But we they all have and they complain about. I guess I wouldn't know because I don't have an iPhone. But I guess when we appear on their phone, I'm a green bubble. And they're like, oh, your green bubble is always ruining my screen. <laughs> Why is it a green bubble? It, because I'm from an Android. Oh, right. It's mad racist like that. Look. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you text me, yo? I did. Oh, uh, why am I looking over there? Oh, I don't know why you're looking over there. There you go. Taming that. Which one? Which one? The sprinkles are gross. I, I if, you don't like are... them, if you don't like them, fine, but they're not gross. There's, there's, the, there's, the there's pe- sugar. Depends on the sprinkle. No. no I'm a fat guy. <laughs> depends <laughs> depends on the fucking sprinkles. I'm not, I'm no, not a guy. but you're not. But it's like you. I'm not. I'm not what? Go I ahead, explain now. I don't think no, you. You're different, fat. You're, 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 <laughs> you're fat. big, bony. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, but there's like, for example, Mr. Softy sprinkles yeah. are different than the sprinkles that you buy at the supermarket. They're all fucking waxy. That you and you're like, nom, nom, nom. yeah, they like yeah, all yeah, stick yeah, to the top of your fucking yeah, mouth, right, yeah. and yeah, and the ones in Mr. Soft, you're real sugar. I mean, they're not gross. It's some say some, that's, some. Oh, you're, you're basing all sprinkles. You're, you're you're that's us. You're a sprinklist. Damn. Yeah, a, spr- <laughs> a sprinklist. <laughs> yeah, you like some sprinkles, but not others <laughs> because of their color or their taste. I have friends that are sprinkles. <laughs> Yeah. My, my sister knows a guy that ate sprinkles. <laughs> oh, shit. oh, this one's good. I can. I know which the, one. No, number one. fifteen. Okay. Movie theater popcorn isn't very good. Who the fuck are you? Reveal yourself. What's wrong with you? Movie theater popcorn isn't very good. All right. I I I like popcorn, but I don't. I, when I go to the movies, I'm the only one that doesn't get a popcorn. Because I know I could eat from everybody else's if I wanted to, but I'd rather have candy and a slush. Or, and if I might get a hot dog or something, get a glizzy or some shit. What the fuck? Really? Yeah, but the popcorn's not a big deal to me. But if it, if we if I do eat it, I like butter, extra butter. Yeah. But it's not a big deal. I could do without popcorn. Gab and I love movie theater popcorn. It has to be fucking fresh. None of that fucking that uh, bullshit that's been sitting. What do you demand? Oh, but, but you're in Jersey now. Do you right. You get fresh popcorn. <laughs> no. So here's so here's what I do. As you're asking, you're here. By the mall where there's an AMC theater. Yeah. Well, during COVID, uh-huh. I used to go over there. Yeah. Buy a bucket of popcorn. Watch the movie Home, but with wow, popcorn. what a fat guy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm fat too, but nah, it's not a big deal. Popcorn is not. I, I can do without it. So you, so that's offensive to you? It's like, <gasps> yeah, man. It's, wow. it's fuck. But who doesn't associate movie theater with popcorn? You're like in the wrong era, dude. You need to be like, you need to live in the 1920s. I love the smell of fresh. Oh, like yeah. when you walk into a theater, you sweat. It's the butter, I think. That's yeah. what it is. The butter, is mm, the butter. salty. I love like the yeah, the the yellow. The more yellow, the kernel. You know what is. I hate about popcorn when you get to, like down to the point where it's just like crunchy. A, you don't like the uh, burnt ones that are halfway open. No, ugh. oh I love oh, that. Tastes disgusting, and they break my teeth. But it's all oh, but that's because you're weak. Right, right, right. Because right. it's fucking delicious, is what wow, it is. You turned it back on me. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> balls in my court. I'll get you later. Both of them. But wait a minute, it's changing up now. It says next one hundred random thoughts. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, yeah, this is a good one. Number okay. sixteen. New York isn't that glamorous. It isn't. I mean, I, I, I take in my pictures. You know, I, I love the city. Don't get me wrong. I love the way it looks. I love the, the architecture. I want to take this opportunity to shout out. Manny's page on click a snap. It's called NYC oh, yes. underscore IRL. New York City in real life. 
my boy here has a wicked eye a wicked eye for pictures and these are all mobile pictures don't think I, I got this fancy camera and i'm hanging from the side of buildings with this fancy no this is all mobile samsung yeah look at that we, yeah the pictures Go look are at insane. my pictures yeah sure yeah absolutely but, uh, we'll, we'll put it we'll thank put like you. a little random thing on the screen thank you but uh yeah so um those pictures are ridiculous why does he how does he get those pictures because man he spent a lot of time working these roof buckets for people that clean windows on these skyscrapers because Manny the doesn't have a lot of the big buildings yeah, in new york city because manny does not possess what the rest of us have a the gene for fear turned on his is off he doesn't yeah, have fear i'm and off and it's always been that way I've always been off. My, I have like three fear switches, and they're always on at the same time. So true. I'm yeah. always off. I'm always pissed off. Oh god! But wouldn't you rather be pissed off than pissed on? Yeah, that's true. Who said that? That was uh... pissed off. If I was that close to a horse's wiener, I'd be worried about getting pissed on. <laughs> I've been anyway. with men in tights. Oh, with Dave Chappelle. He didn't say that exactly, but the guy was hanging upside down under the horse, and he goes, I'm really pissed off. And Dave Chappelle <laughs> said, well, from what I'm looking at, you should be scared of being pissed on. Because ah. he was right next to the, the horse's uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang him a jig. Um, next one, 17. There's no point in having a social media profile. That's ridiculous. Yeah, Nowadays, yeah. you no. have to have one. It, no, you don't have to. If you have something to promote, yes. But if you're just taking pictures of what you ate yesterday and stuff like that, you don't need one. You, They're addicted. People are addicted yeah. to social media. I am. I am too. Don't yeah. get me wrong. Yeah. But we don't need it. Well, I guess we do need it because we have an addiction to fill. Right. It's not because it's helping us in any kind of way, this, unless you have a business. But the, you're right. This unless you have a right, business. Right, yeah. That's what I mean. Unless you have something to promote. If you're just a person, regular, not, you don't have nothing. You're just taking pictures of you. That's dumb. Yeah. You're putting your kids out there and your, what True you story. ate and where you live that. Yeah. It's not good, man. It's not yeah. good. So, no, I don't think it's needed. I, the, the reason why people think it's needed is because it's an addiction that they're feeling, I think. And I think it's horrible. I think during COVID, I, I took off Facebook. I killed it. I, I had a Facebook and I killed it because everybody became an expert on COVID and politics at oh, the same time. Yeah, and yeah. everybody, people who were just taking pictures of their food yesterday, all of a sudden are these well-versed uh, COVID experts. And yeah. so I just, it got annoying and I got rid of it. And I just recently got it back for the pictures. Yeah. And I didn't tell no none of my friends that I have a Facebook. I told nobody. I like it was open one Manny Cologne, and I started putting my pictures. Well, nine nine other people know now. And I got flooded. I got flooded. I have over four thousand followers or three thousand followers, and it was all from the African continent. Wow! From Africa, Nigeria, India, all those like countries like. Followers like just back to back, just hit people hitting me, hitting me, hitting me. And I'm, I'm accepting, accepting friendships. Except on Facebook recently, and then a friend of mine just on it goes, "Hey, yo, Manny, I think he texts me. He goes, I think your account was hacked." And I was like, "What are you saying?" He's like, "Oh, Facebook. There's a there's a lot of uh, uh foreigners on your thing, and they're using your name with your picture." I go, "No, that's my page." And he goes, "What do you mean?" I opened the pages to put pictures up. Always oh, open. You didn't request me, and that was that was uh, what annoyed me. Yeah. I was like, "What do I need to request you? You have my number. You texted me." Yeah, yeah. I know you personally. Why do I, you need to be my friend on Facebook? <laughs> Why are you so offended <laughs> that I did not request you on Facebook when you have my number? <laughs> You texted me to tell me how upset you were. Right, right, right. <laughs> that I, you know, I didn't get it. I, so I, I, they I don't, don't keep in touch to... with you like we keep in touch on WhatsApp and send each other funny shit. No, that's only so like if you, my family is on WhatsApp. You, you practically family. My son's godfather. He's definitely family. Um, you know, I, it's very few. Of my uh, my friend Terry, who I've known for years, I used to work with security. But yeah, it's not. I don't talk to a lot of people on WhatsApp. All I don't. Right. Th I don't like texting. That's why you always get a voice message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always. You say, hey, hey, what's going on? Blah 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 blah. I instead of typing it, I rather just say. 
Yeah. And you hear me. Some people don't like that. They don't like their voice. They don't like to hear their own voice. I don't care what you think. Yeah, my voice. Sure. Yeah. If you want to get a message, of course. Right, right. So what is this? Uh, Number 18. Not every couple needs to have children. I agree. Me too. I strongly agree. Not everybody, just because, just because you're able to do the deed and get into bed and do whatever it is, to, doesn't mean that you're ready to have it. Yeah, that's it. Yep. This is I got did it for everything. That goes for everything. My daughter, when she first got her driver's license, she planned the trip. I don't know why we're jumping up, but this is yeah, this is in the same in the same area. She planned the trip right after she got her license. She's only had her license for one week. To Pennsylvania, four hours away with her friends. Fucking. And I was like, Al, be careful. You just got your license. Just because you got you got a, a driver's license doesn't mean you know how to drive. It just meant you met the minimum requirement for to possess this car. Right. Now you teach yourself right. how to drive. Yeah. And that's a far trip. And you're going after work at night. Dad, it's going to be fine, Daddy. Daddy, it's going to be fine. He's, he trusts me. It's going to be fine. I said, I know you can drive, but this is a big deal. No, Daddy, don't worry. This is, this is only like five years ago, four years ago. No, Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. Okay. I let her go. I mean, I was going to let her go anyway. She's a grown-ass woman. You know what I mean? Right. I've just given her advice. Right. So I said, text me at every time. Stop. You're going to stop because it's four hours. So you're going to stop to pee, eat some, get something to drink, whatever. Text me every stop, gas, whatever. I got you. And she was doing it. Fine. Boom, boom, boom. To the point that by 11 o'clock at night, I was like, you know what? I feel comfortable. She's been doing great. She called me three times already on three different stops they made. So I went to sleep. And I was staying awake because I was worried. I go to sleep. Were you asleep or sleep? I was both. <laughs> both of them. Both. <laughs> B-O-F-U-M. Both of them. <clears throat> but um, the phone rings. What do you uh, think happened? Flat tire. She got into an wish. accident? I wish. She got into an I go, hello. I go, what's going on? She's crying. Daddy, I'm, I'm so sorry. She's apologizing to me. I'm so sorry, Daddy. I said, what happened? What do you mean? And she had my dog with her and everything. But what happened? So then she's like apologizing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I said, what? What are you sorry about? What happened? There was this guy behind us, and we were trying to. We were just a little bit away from where we supposed to go, our destination. They uh, a B and B. They yeah. rented. We're looking for the address, and this guy was honking. This construction, so we couldn't go on that lane. It's only one lane, and he's honking and hitting the high beams. And we're trying to find the exit, and she's crying while she's telling me all this. And uh, he ran us off the road. I said he ran you off the road. He physically hit you and ran. No, but because he was doing all that, we were like all nervous, and I drove off into the ditch. She Why not fell in the ditch. Stop. And I fell in the ditch. I wrote it. Because Dude, you don't she's, have experience. In the, she's in the highway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's on the highway. But this is the point of not having experience. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, and I, right there when she told me that, I said, I can tell you exactly what happened. I can tell you, I can see it in my head. Some of her friends are loud and they're probably in the car yelling. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at that guy. What a dick. He's the light. And you were yeah. worried about that instead of it. And you were yeah. drifting. And you went to the ditch. Yeah. That's what happened. He didn't run you off. He was an ass for doing what he did. Yeah. But because you don't have the skill yet, you make decisions. You that, panic. She's yeah. like, Daddy, I'm sorry. I said, don't apologize to me. Are you okay? She goes, yeah, I'm okay. I go, is the dog okay? Yes, your friend, everybody's okay. Yes. She goes, I don't know what to do. It's a rental car. I said, you pay for insurance? Yes. I said, don't worry about it. Yeah. They got it. Matter of fact, the cops should take the car or whoever tows the car to wherever they want it towed. And they give you a new car. And you call in the morning and get a new car and you get your ass home. When you, she's like, oh, my God, are you sure that? I said, yeah, that's how it works. And then the next morning she got But I give it to her. I give my daughter prize. Well, Alex, I love you so much because she didn't quit. She could have been afraid and never drove again Yeah. after that. She got that new car. She drove all the way back home. They stayed. She finished the trip. She Good. didn't come right home. She stayed. She, they did what they did. And they came home. And she no issues. And she hasn't had any issues then. Yeah. Since. I mean. But yeah, that was 
that that right there that's like uh what were we talking about here what was the last one we did uh not not every, not everybody needs to have children right that's just because you meet the minimum requirement doesn't mean that the minimum requirement to having children is getting in bed and doing the deed and you know what i mean doesn't mean you're ready to have children yeah. so that's what my point was with the with my daughter right. just because you had that license you just met the minimum requirement you shouldn't you shouldn't be driving that far you know it, it reminds me of something that um my friend david said to me that struck me Hard. That's very similar to that. He said, uh, "Not every surgeon graduated with an A twelve. Right. Some of them graduated with C. That's scary. Fuck. Yeah. Some of those brain surgeons. Yeah. Yeah. He just met the yeah. minimum. Right. He passed with a sixty five. So I, I, <laughs> I actually used that line on this eye surgeon that I've been seeing for my right eye, and she came in and she's like, "No, I, you're not ready yet to do this. We're gonna have to wait." I said, "Doctor, can I ask you something?" She said. Did you graduate with an A or with a C? <laughs> she starts laughing. I said, "Cause if you really graduate with an A, I'm not gonna ask for a second opinion. Right, right. If you graduated with a C, I'm gonna go talk to somebody else. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, that's funny. That's funny. No oh, man. Oh, so here, read the next one. Uh, I prefer to listen to the radio over watching a television show. Okay, so for me, I'm a, I'm a visual person. And that comes, I've learned everything through TV. Right. So this is something that I just cannot get away from. I would rather watch a documentary or even like somebody or have a book written to me than actually listen to the radio. Like I like yeah. the visual. When yeah. we're hanging out and we're playing music, I visualize right. what I'm listening to but and that's that, cool. But that's the beauty about music. That's why radio, there's a difference. There's a difference. You should enjoy both differently. Because the beauty of music is it's leaving what the story is to your imagination. Right. It's to create it in your head how you think, where on TV it's the way the director yeah. says and you see it like that. So I think that's the beauty of music. And I agree with you on that. I agree with you on that. And it reminds me a lot of how AI operates. Right? How, how do you, you spell that? A I. A Y E Y E, right? Yeah. <laughs> so like, have you ever tried to ever repeat something on AI and it never gives you the t the, the same, same exact thing? thing. Yeah, yeah. That's the same thing. So that I do love that that the or, the original the originality of the imagination is personal to you, right? But but this true. I would rather you would rather watch, listen to the rate watch TV. Oh, you would rather watch TV. Yeah. Okay. I would rather watch TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's already it set takes up the work for, out of right, wanting to right. think. You just want to kind of lay there and just right, right, right. absorb. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. Um, I like this. Yeah, this is a good list. This is, this is a good list. There's no, Thank you, Sasha. Yeah, thanks, see. There's no reason Jive. to make. There's no reason to make your bed every morning. Okay. All right. You go first. Uh, I leave way before my wife does it every morning. When she leaves before me and I stay in bed. I don't do the bed until like 12 noon. I get up, I go do everything I gotta do. And so it's not like every morning, but yeah, it gets done. Yeah. We, when we go to bed at night, it's done. Yeah. So. And there's times where we both work and we come back and yeah, we yeah. just didn't have time to make it. We just left yeah. to work because yeah. it's early, bro. We gotta be out early. Um, I hate making the bed, but I'll do it. Sasha can't. Operate without making her bed first, and that's, I respect that's how, that. That's how Yazi I respect is. that. That's how Yazi is. Yeah, right? that's I can't start my day until that's done, and I'm like, okay, and it makes perfect sense of who she is, you know. Mm -hmm. That's why we can't both be flighty. We can't both be right, right. a titan against the titan. Like you just can't. So, but right. I like the differences. Right. Where Gab never makes her bed. Oh, but that's a kid. But she has my a reason. Son, oh, she, he's she, twenty two still. She doesn't. says that. Making the bed actually creates more germs in your bed than you making it because, because it's airing out. You're right. airing out, the, which makes makes sense. I mean, Gabby's not a dumb person, so it, does. it makes sense to me. So I actually, when sometimes if I snore too loud, I go sleep somewhere else and like in the house. Right. And I I used to like fold everything when I'm down in the morning. If I go to the you know if I get up right, early, right, right, right. I'll just pile it up. Whatever, <laughs> but yeah, no, we'll, we'll, she she does it. When I get home, it's always done. 
But like me personally, when when she goes first, and I, I don't do it as soon as I get up and then start my day. Now I start my day, but then I realize after sitting down for a while watching the news, drinking coffee. Uh, let me start picking up and I'll start. I'll go yeah. to bed. So, yeah. You know yeah. I mean? Because I'm, so I'm one of these that if, if, uh, if I start to clean, I'm not stopping. And I'm, I'm, I'm lifting, I'm moving every chair. I'm like, you got OCD. You right. So, this. so sometimes I just don't start it. So I don't get into that. Oh, this next, this, uh, number 21. 20. No, we just did. Oh, yeah. We no, just 20. did 20, right? 20. Number 21 is. Kind of apropos to us, right? Listening to podcasts is more enjoyable than listening to music. No, 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 I'm sorry. Listen, I want you to listen to my podcast, but me personally, my music, and again, it's not just hip hop, it's everything. I, I, if you look at my playlist, you'd be surprised. You'd be like, whoa, this kind of music is on his. On, like, was it on, what are, what's Spotify. It on Spotify? Spotify? What's it? What's the channel called? Oh, I don't publicize. Oh, you don't want to do that? Yeah, no. Oh, you don't you don't share it? No, nah, that's personal. That's my listening. I oh, didn't, I didn't even know you could do shit like that. Oh. Like honestly, I, I wouldn't want to. Well, unless it's like my son or you. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. Yo, check this right, out. Right. But, but to make it public, yeah, nah, nah. It's, oh, okay. But my music is my music, and I love music, man. So mm-hmm. no, I don't. I don't know about listening to a podcast would be better, but I think they can both be fun. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Number twenty-two: people that read are more intelligent. So yes. Okay. The oh, pen. that that read constantly? No, not really. And because intelligence for me is not the amount of knowledge that you have, which is part of it. It's how you. It's how you use that knowledge, or how you in the practical world. How do you manipulate? Apply, how do you apply it? Right. How do you manipulate the environment around you? Says a lot about your intelligence. Right. Like MacGyver. Right. A MacGyver from the TV show that used to make stuff and whittle. He used to know a little bit about everything yeah. and applied it, right? He didn't just read it. He read it and he right. applied it. That to me is true intelligence. Right, right, right. You feel me? Not just reading. Right. And, and we're talking about what are we reading? People who read novellas are more intelligent. But who knows? There's yeah. intelligent people that like that stuff. Right. But I'm saying, does that mean that, that people who read, no Dr. Seuss because, books. No, but there's some books, yeah, there's yeah. some books that you don't really get nothing out of except the fact it's sex and, uh, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to be reading the right books if you want to get intelligent. Right. You know what I mean? Or you're just reading books because you like steamy novellas. I get it. No, I feel like intelligence or intelligent people are tend to be more skeptical about stuff. They they tend to because they think they, about yeah, they want to they want to analyze everything yeah. and make sure that it, yeah yeah you know, that's what I do all the time so so yeah so I guess the consensus is not because you read you're more intelligent you right. can read and not be intelligent right Remember, my you, definition is what you read apply applying what you read in real life is intelligence right yeah um, love is not a choice Ooh. And that's true. You can't it hits choose you, right? Who you love. Right. It hits you or it doesn't. Right, right. You yeah. can't choose who you love. Yeah. You just love, man. If you feel it, you gotta Yo, that period wasn't a period that was the mouse. Yeah, it's been like that the whole time. But dude, when we're saying ponly, we're just like ponly period. No, because that co- that comes from there. That that's the title. P O N L Y period. But when I move the mouse on the screen, it moves the period. That's... Why? Because it's something That's, cool, like quirky about the website. Uh, I thought it was just your mouse. And we no, made a it's the it. it's the aesthetic right. of the page. All right, you, let's skip this one because I don't I don't know about butter pecan. I, I really don't like either one of those. All right, uh, so but oatmeal on. raisin cookies are better than chocolate chip cookies. Yes, with ice cream in the middle. No, 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 no. Yes, oatmeal raisin is better than chocolate. Oatmeal raisin is better. <laughs> Unless you have a chewy chocolate chip cookie. I like chewy cookies and the oatmeal raisin are chewy cookies. Okay, I get you. Yes. The, I don't like the like I hate when Yaz goes to the store and she's like, Oh, I bought I bought a chocolate chip or chips ahoy cookies. Uh, and then they're the hard ones. Yeah, they've uh, been on a shelf for yeah, years. No. I like buying like uh no, in the because supermarket. They, they have they have two different kinds, you know that they have a hard and they have a chewy. But even the chewy is not chewy. Okay, I get it. I have Chips Ahoy, but I like 
I like like the cookies like you buy like at Entermans, a bakery. Entermans, I like the Entermans Entermans ones are good. The little ones, but the, lately they taste like straight cookie dough. They don't even taste like a cookie no more. It's like straight, like they just smush cookie dough and throw it in the box. <laughs> That's what it tastes okay. like. Yeah. What about uh, what is Pepperidge Farm? Yeah, yeah, dude, yeah, they're good. Yeah, those are good. Yeah. Yes. I like the chess pieces. So no, so you you're different. You say chocolate chip cookies. Depends on the chocolate. I like both, right? But I enjoy chocolate chip cookies more. More. Right. I can't do a podcast with you. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> Later. <laughs> don't let don't let the bus stop hit you in the ass. Motherfucker. <laughs> it did yesterday. Yeah. No shit. No shit. Uh. So the next one. Uh. Grape flavored flavor. ice pops are the best flavor. Yes. 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 Yeah. That's the first one you pull out of the pack. Yeah. And then the second buy. one is, we'll say the color. No, no, no. One. Wait, wait, wait. No. The first one is grape. The second one? Green. Is grape. Green. And you eat all the grapes first. Right. <laughs> and then you have no choice but to go for green. Green. Right. Yes. Right, right. Okay. I and after like, green? I even like the red cherry. It has to be cherry. I love cherry. Okay. Matter of fact, cherry might go after green. After grape goes cherry. The last one's the orange to go. Yeah, yeah. What else is that? There's a lime. There's a pineapple one. A what? Oh, For real? But good. but the little ones are like the big fat one with the little no the straw little on the skinny side. ones the little skinny the ones. flavor ice. Like you buy the big net yeah. fish net yeah. bag yeah 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, they're amazing. Oh wow. So uh, what was that? That was great flavor. Like yes, yes. Yeah. And if you don't agree, leave a comment and unsubscribe. Yeah. <laughs> we just lost 25 percent of our audience last night (laughs) eggnog is delicious nah i don't like it i like coquito Coquito. what's up with coquito coquito is the shit but that's not eggnog my mother-in-law is dominican that's the latino uh that's the latino uh, my my mother-in-law is dominican and she makes coquito every year he sells bottles for christmas no doubt she sells the bottles i'm a hustler homie wow that's dope okay here we go wendy's has better chicken nuggets than mcdonald's Nah. yes Nah. i say yes they, uh, although they're probably not, they 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 taste healthier. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude. But I mean, I, the the chick the McDonald's chicken nuggets to me literally, I can't get. And another shout out to my boy John Drummond. He used to call them lips and assholes. What? Their, their lips and assholes mushed up. You don't like eating ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I I like I like. You know what? I can't remember Wendy's to tell you the truth. Wendy's is very greasy. The hamburger. Yeah, greasy. The hamburger. Oh my god. But not the chicken nuggets. The you chicken nuggets. The wrapper and like right there is a stain. It's a, yeah. It looks like the like the guy from uh, Coming Back to America was sitting on it. Mm. So yeah. Oh, you got the grease on the. Uh, yeah. That's yeah. what it looks like. It's so greasy. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. All right. Our last three here. So uh. Cheese ruins flavorful dishes. Who the fuck wrote that? You need to get punched right in the mouth. Cheese ruins flavorful dishes. I'll put cheese on chocolate. You know what? But lately I've stopped. When I have a bacon and egg, I don't put cheese on it. Why not? I don't know. I I tasted it once without somebody. They forgot to put it on one time. And I liked it. I was like, oh. Okay. I taste the bacon more. Okay. It was, it was dope. And now I put tomato. What so kind of, what how do you like your bacon? Do you like your bacon crispy? Crispy, yeah. Crispy, oh, yeah. Okay. It needs to, like, crack. Like, yeah. <laughs> I don't like that fucking shit that flops over the nah. sandwich. You don't need a college degree to get a job. This is true. That is very true. That is true. I have uh, had plenty of jobs. I don't have a college degree. And I've moved up in my jobs. And I've held some very big positions. But I did get my 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 growth was stunted with J.C. Penny because the next position automatically I had to have college for the next position, so I couldn't go any further. So that's how they kept the man down. Yeah, they these put bastards. Their foot on my neck. These bastards. I said, "No, you dumb fuck, go to school." Yeah. So you're out to old. Yeah. So they thought you didn't read. Right. Yeah. That's, I see. You know that's it. All right, last one. Seafood is disgusting. Yes. I don't eat seafood. You don't eat tuna? 
Yeah, tuna's good. Okay, that's, that's seafood. I, that's the only thing I eat. That's the one. You don't eat sushi? Oh, oh bro. You talking about raw? No. It's because you haven't had the right one. No, it's because I don't eat seafood. Any kind of seafood. I never ate seafood either. I could, I could deal with fried calamari. Is it calamari or calamari? In small amounts. But the texture of it gets better. I like the flavor, but the texture. I can't, I can't. Fish, especially if it's looking back at me, I, ooh, I'm going to stab the eye. No, nope, don't want it. Me neither. Like, I grew up without I liking seafood, that. and I, I learned to like sushi. Come back! Yeah, dude. Sushi's awesome. Yeah. Sushi's awesome. Yeah, shout out, sushi. shout out to uh, to uh, Mike and Tony. You know who you are. First time uh, I experienced seafood was uh, not seafood, but sushi was with them, and uh, it was amazing. Fellow disgusting humans. It was amazing. I get it. No, disgusting. Okay. Well, whatever. Ugh. Oh man. Seafood. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the episode. I think I had a lot of fun. I, mean, I had fun. I had, I had fun, fun too. It was, it was interesting. It was a great topic. Thank you, Sasha. Once yeah. Again. Props. Shout out to Sasha because she, she looked out. And that's what we're asking you guys to do. Absolutely. Absolutely. So after you guys like, after you subscribe, and after you throw a little comment in there, and any comment is welcome. Okay? Yeah, even the bad ones, man. Yeah, I'm saying. One of this is I, I got thick skin. But if I see you in the street, I'm going to slap you in your face. <laughs> just saying. Oh, man. So, as we end every show, just remember that we appreciate you guys listening. And uh, as always, we are Too Broke. Too Joe. Yo, gather round, folks. It's the tale of two dudes. Middle aged and broke. They're in a financial roots. They try to stack the paper, but it all fell through. And now they're podcasting like just to share their blues. Me, man, and no. Kings are being broke. The wallet screen help. Yo, it ain't no joke, but they don't. Let this man be the punchline they evoke. They're too broke to joke. Is that funny antidote? O's got bills, mortgage O's so large. Man's got loans like a credit charge. The rent made a lady living life at large. But the bank accounts are like, we're living a mirage. They dream of yachts and private jets. But their reality's more like garage sales. They can't afford steak, ramen noodles, and prayers. Two middle aged dudes, but they human ever waiters. They're the kings of puns and the lords of jets. They make you laugh so hard. You forget the rest. From empty pockets to credit card debt's a mess. They're too broke to joke, object the best. Too broke to joke, that's the life we chose From the barrio to the barrel, yeah, everybody knows We may be broke, but we're laughing through the pain Turning every struggle into podcast and fame Too broke to joke, that's the life we chose From the barrio to the barrel, yeah, everybody knows We may be broke, but we're laughing through the pain Turning every struggle into podcast and fame